off the top of my mind uh, how this is going to go. Uh, everybody is still, of course, a little bit new. I am curious to see if, you know, the Hard Continue Cafe has anything in mind, but I gotta say, really, really important, just like moving along, uh, like with the rhythm, as a rhythm game player, do you feel like that is something that actually helps you with your execution, or is that like a very personal thing? Because of the lane swap difference, we be going sideways, most rhythm games go up or down. So trying to adapt from that standpoint has, has actually been a lot more difficult oh, yeah. than I would have expected. But actually hitting the notes to the rhythm, one, yeah, that that uh, part hasn't been too difficult for my end. It's I, really just the fighting game oh, aspects. Yeah. I will also say, this is a universal fighting game thing of like, okay, player two is kind of rough because you're going to be starting from the right side, so you have to flip all of your inputs. I feel like that's not something I've ever had to think about in a rhythm game before, right? You, you've never been like, ah, the notes are coming from the opposite direction. But already, right from the beginning, Crimson takes that game one away from the Heart Container Cafe. As you said, it's really that aggressiveness there. Um, but yeah, I just mean, I mean, like, I saw like them like bopping. I see, I see them like moving their heads to the rhythm. Is that like something that you feel like is actually impactful? It's just like, I don't know, you look cool doing it. I feel like that gets you into the zone. So when you're in the zone, you're going to tend to do better because hitting the notes to the right rhythm, getting the flawless, that requires some sort of flow state. Oh, yeah. Oh Wait, now goodness. both of them are trying to tap into it, but her container cafe is not tapping into it. That's, that's crazy. You can have tap notes within holds. Can you do that? Do you just have to, like, take the L at that point? What do you do in the middle of holds? Yeah, I... That is a very interesting question. There, I think you just have to take the L, yeah. There might be a way to get like simultaneously like two different inputs, if I am not mistaken. I think the Ah, uh, yes, you can hold it with the uh, the AXYB or just the normal uh, input buttons. And then, yes, the D-pad is a second set of inputs. Right. Uh, so yeah, I think that you'd have to hold it with one and then press it on the D-pad. And and I feel like that's like a very like essential concept. I feel like the first thing that jumps to my mind is something like Osu, right? Well, you have two buttons. I feel like a lot of players when they start out like from the beginning, uh, they just kind of like just single like tap instead of like using both of their fingers simultaneously. And the point is, if your finger is already in like in a position where you're pressing, you need to make sure that second finger is available. So already, that's a huge vibe check to have like a hold and then you have like another input there. Do you have like the execution, the presence? of mind. One of the best ways to I feel like get into that is to just kind of